The president's tweet this morning has left the public really guessing. It was just over a little over a week ago after the president promised to get American troops out of Syria. Dan Cohen takes a look at the president's contradictory statements now and in the past. The world awoke Wednesday morning to a terrifying and then perplexing couple of tweets from President Trump. First, Trump tweeted that the U.S. would launch smart missiles at Syria despite Russia's statements that it would shoot them down. Less than an hour later, the president tweeted that there's no reason for what he called the worst relationship with Russia since the Cold War and raised the possibility of ending the arms race. These tweets come weeks after Trump invited Russian President Vladimir Putin to the White House and said U.S. troops would be leaving Syria. And by the way, we're knocking the hell out of ISIS. We'll be coming out of Syria like very soon. Let the other people take care of it now. Trump's threats are a direct contradiction to numerous statements he made against war on Syria prior to his run to the White House. In September 2013, Trump tweeted, what I'm saying is stay out of Syria. Two months before, Trump said that if he were to attack Syria, he would not announce it in media. Days after he said the U.S. should stay out of Syria, Trump called then-President Obama a foolish leader and warned that very bad things would happen if he attacked Syria over the unproven allegation that the Syrian military used chemical weapons, just as Trump is threatening to do today. Trump continued to tweet against a U.S. attack on Syria, saying U.S. leaders don't know what they are doing. In 2013, Trump tweeted that Bush administration officials should have zero standing on Syria because of their role in the war on Iraq. But the Trump administration has had no less than three dozen Bush administration officials, and Monday was the first day on the job for Trump's new national security advisor, Bush's ambassador to the United Nations, John Bolton. Trump's website had a post collecting articles critical of Hillary Clinton titled, Clinton's flailing Syria policy was judged a failure. One section said Clinton flip-flopped on arming Syrian opposition. And the post linked to one article titled, as secretary, Clinton said arming Syrian rebels could help al-Qaeda. That post has been deleted from Trump's website. In fact, the Syrian opposition has long been dominated by jihadist militants. In October 2017, Brett McGurk, the top U.S. envoy for the coalition battling the Islamic State, called Idlib province in northern Syria the largest al-Qaeda haven in the world. Of course, there's a tweet for that. Back in 2013, Trump tweeted, Many Syrian rebels are radical jihadis, not our friends, and supporting them doesn't serve our national interest. Weeks before, he tweeted that so-called freedom fighters in Syria want to fly planes into our buildings, a reference to the 9-11 attacks carried out by al-Qaeda. Trump's contradictions are not limited to Syria. In August 2017, Trump threatened North Korea with, quote, fire and fury like the world has never seen. Months later, Trump announced he would meet with North Korean Premier Kim Jong-un. All of these statements come from the self-described very stable genius. In Washington, Dan Cohen, RT.